as governor, you were responsible for the quality of, of schools, for education. And what I've seen Republicans do is tell us what they should not be doing. Washington shouldn't be involved. Shouldn't be a department of education. Shouldn't be any kind of engagement. Now, please, I ask you, tell me what should be done because these kids, it's too late if they're eight years old and there's no father in the house, and that kid still has 10 years in school. It's too late for some of these schools in the inner city of Chicago where kids are getting blown away by other children. What should be done? Well, I want to echo both what Marco and, and Rick said because it is about understanding the federal government cannot properly educate children. Rick was exactly right when he talked about the role of parents. Why is it that homeschool kids academically do better than kids from any other academic background? Because it is the intense involvement of the mother and father in that child's education that is unsurpassed in any other educational form. The only kid in Arkansas who ever scored a perfect score in the SAT exam was a homeschool girl whose father, by the way, worked for me. He worked in the Human Services Department and it completely embarrassed the education establishment in our state because a homeschool kid wasn't supposed to do that. So one thing the federal government could do is not fight homeschooling, is not fight parents' choices to educate their kids in the best way for them, and to fight for marriage and to fight for stable families. And one thing I think I'd like to see is the president to fight for the right of families to be involved in their kids' schools. There is a case right now in East Tennessee that ought to make every Christian believer in this country absolutely livid. It is the Ramiki family. They came here from Germany seeking asylum because they were going to have their kids taken away from them in Germany because they homeschooled their kids in Germany. Germany wouldn't allow it. And the German government was going to take their kids from their very stable, very solid Christian home. So the Ramiki family took asylum to America where they would be able to educate their kids at home. Their kids are doing great. I've met their kids. And this week, the Justice Department of the United States started deportation process against the Ramiki family to send them back to Germany, which will take their kids from them. The very week the president wants to bring Syrian refugees to America and import them, he wants to deport a Christian family. If you do not believe that there is a war on the Christian faith in this country that is being carried out by this administration, look no further than the education system because it's happening in our country and the president may not take responsibility for educating the kids K through 12 and coming up with the curriculum, but by gosh, he ought to have an attorney general that will fight for mother and father to have the right to educate their children in the best way for them.